Installing the Hyundai and or Kia EDR software program on your computer is necessary to use the respective Hyundai or Kia EDR retrieval tools. The Hyundai EDR tool and the Kia EDR tool each have their own software program that will need to be installed independently of each other. The procedures are identical for each software installation. In this video, we'll go over the minimum computer system requirements needed to operate the Hyundai and Kia EDR software programs. We'll discuss what is needed to install the software programs on your computer. And finally, we'll go over step-by-step -step procedures to install the software programs. You'll need a Windows-based PC with Windows 7 or newer to operate the Hyundai and Kia EDR retrieval programs. The software programs are not compatible with Mac operating systems, and they're not compatible with Chrome operating systems found on Chromebooks. You'll need a minimum 2 GHz processor and a minimum 1 GB of RAM. Having two USB ports is ideal for the software installation, but you can easily get by if you only have one. If your PC only has one USB port, start the installation with the USB dongle and swap it out with the VCI USB cable when prompted to connect to the VCI. To install the software program, you'll need your PC with internet access. You'll need administrator rights for the computer you're working with as well. You'll need your user ID and password that was provided with the purchase of your kit, the USB dongle that came with your kit, the VCI, the AC power adapter, the USB cable, the DLC connection cable, and any one of the ACU connection cables contained in your kit. The ACU connection cable will only be used to supply power to the VCI during the software installation, so any one of them will do. If you purchased a Hyundai or Kia DLC only kit, use the DLC power adapter that came with your kit in place of the ACU connection cable, as demonstrated in this video, to provide power to the VCI. Start by connecting the DLC cable to the VCI. Select any ACU adapter cable that came with your kit and connect it to the DLC cable. Or use the DLC power adapter if your kit did not come with an ACU connection cable. If you have the optional CFCI module that is used to download certain Hyundai or Kia systems, connect it between the DLC cable and the ACU adapter cable as shown here. Plug the AC power supply into a wall outlet and then connect it to the socket on the ACU adapter cable or to the DLC power adapter if that's what you're using. Connect the USB cable to the opening on the top of the VCI and insert the other end into an open USB port on your computer. Press the power button on the VCI. Now, insert the USB dongle into an open USB port on your computer. Browse to and open the EDR thumb drive if it doesn't open automatically. Double click on the setup application file. This will launch an install wizard. Click on Next. There are two setup options to choose from. The default setting is recommended. Select Next. You'll be prompted to install Adobe Acrobat Reader. It's already installed on this computer, so I'll uncheck the box and click on Next to continue. Click on Install to start the software installation. Once the installation is complete, click on the Finish button. An HMA EDR icon for Hyundai or a KMA EDR icon for Kia has been placed on your desktop depending on which software program you are installing. Double click on the applicable icon to open the corresponding EDR program. An update notification may appear. If it does, click on OK. Once the update has completed, click on OK again. Now click on the download button. A window will open for you to enter your user ID and password that was provided to you when you purchased your kit. Enter the ID and the password and then click on login. Wait for the associated files to download. This may take a few minutes. Once the files have been downloaded, click on the Install button. When the files have finished installing, the program will search for the optional CFCI module. 
The CFCI module is an optional component that is not included in the basic Hyundai or Kia EDR kits. We do not have a CFC module connected and an error message has appeared. If you have a CFCI module connected, click on the CFCI update button and follow the instructions. Since we do not have a CFCI module to update, click OK in the error message window. Wait a moment and another error message will appear. Click on OK again. Now click on the cancel button. Your VCI will require a firmware update on the initial software install. The program will automatically start the VCI firmware update. The power to the VCI was turned off during this process. A message will appear instructing you to turn on the VCI by pressing the power button. Press the power button on the VCI and then click OK. The installation is now complete and the EDR retrieval program will open automatically. The EDR disclosure message is now present, which will appear each time you launch the Hyundai or Kia EDR programs from now on. For more information on the Hyundai and Kia EDR tools, and other EDR tools as well, visit CrashDataGroup.com.